I don't know if you call it the first game. It is a blue-white scrimmage. Uh, you know, we look at it as an opportunity to get better. Um, but I do think it's a neat environment where our guys got to play in front of a crowd. And there was an extra pep in their step tonight, especially to start the game. Uh, but it was good to see how uh, different guys reacted in that situation. It was a neat atmosphere. I thought it was uh, great that our students came out on both ends. The dog pound was terrific. You know, our fans were good throughout the game. In terms of our players, uh, I thought our guys played hard. Uh, I thought our guys came out and competed. On the offensive end of the floor, uh, we did some very nice things. I thought we executed. On the defensive side of the ball, you know, I think we're going to get back in the film room. We're going to make some corrections and, and go from there. But overall, it was a good scrimmage for us. I think we can take a lot of things from tonight. Our freshmen uh, at certain times throughout practice have all played well. And they've shown uh, why they're here at Butler. They, they've shown their strengths. Um, the thing that we keep talking to our freshmen about is the consistency of showing up every day and doing it every night. Um, but we had some guys you know, play well in that scrimmage. They, pro they were productive. They made shots. Uh, and our freshmen were good tonight. Nolan is a, a very good shooter. He, he shot the ball well. Um, this is the third time we've played in front of officials um, since we've started practice and no one has shot the ball well uh, every time uh, we scrimmage. Elijah is an offensive player. I mean, he, he can put the ball in the basket. What you saw tonight, uh, especially early, he came out with a ton of energy. Uh, he was obviously ready to play. Kellen. Hey, he's made three now. Stay attached. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, tr tr hey treat him like a dead eye. You know, he made t a couple tough shots early, which got him going. But he, he's a guy that can put the ball in the basket. Yeah, why you Got fouls? Are they keeping track? Yeah, no, no, normal yeah. deal. We just don't want to foul anybody out. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't want to run out of guys. <laughs> I got you. We have emphasized the defensive end of the floor uh, from day one, you know, heading into Australia. Uh, we continually talk about defense, and I think that's just the process that happens throughout the year. You know, we'll be, you know, game 25, and we'll still be talking about defense. And I think you just take what happened tonight, you know, you watch the film, you show the guys the film, and there'll be a number of different situations on that end of the floor that we'll talk about, and, you know, we'll continue to tweak and get better at. You know, we had a couple breakdowns uh, tonight on the defensive end, but I also thought it, it was part two some pretty good offense and some and, and good execution. Let's get after Let's have fun. Let's go. I think the biggest area is guys are getting closer and coming together on and off the floor. You know, we're bonding. Um, we're becoming a team. The, and you know that when you finish practice and how loud the locker room is after practice. You know, my office is right by the locker room. Guys are joking. Guys are, you know, laughing. Guys, and, and that how loud the locker room is tells me guys are getting closer. Um, and with that, uh, you know, we've seen that carry over to the floor. Um, guys are more connected on both ends of the floor, especially on the offensive end of the floor. Guys are learning to play with one another. I think team chemistry uh, has always been a huge part of Butler. If you say, hey, what has Butler's strengths been? Um, Butler plays, you know, with all five guys on the floor together on both ends of the floor. We're connected. And it's something that is a part of our system. It's something a part of Butler basketball. We play team basketball on both ends of the floor, and it's something that you work on. It's something that you have to spend time doing. That's why, you know, we constantly talk about, you know, us getting better as a process. That doesn't happen overnight, and that happens throughout the summer, throughout the season. And if you do it right, you can get better at that.